What's up guys, this is my video on the top 20 best Android launchers. In this video, I will be showing you the first 5 launchers and this is the part 1 out of 4. So in each video, I will be showing you 5 launchers, that is all together 20 launchers. So let's go ahead and begin the countdown. So the number 1 in my list is the Themer launcher. This launcher is in the beta phase, but still this launcher works great. I have an in-depth review of this launcher, if you guys want to check that out, the link to it is in the description. Basically, this is the easiest way to theme your Android. It not only changes the icons, but you will have a whole new Android experience. You get a lot of themes to choose from, and all the themes are totally free. Each theme have its own unique user interface. Let me show you guys some of my favorites. You also can customize this launcher depending upon your preferences from the status bar to the dock, folders and so on. This launcher even supports gestures, that is you can give your own accents for any of these gestures. Let me just quickly show it to you. So guys you need to register yourself for this launcher and this launcher is very smooth, very responsive and you have a cool user interface with each different theme you use. So an awesome launcher I would say, so that's my number one. Number two on my list is the Launcher 8. This launcher gives your device the look and feel of the Windows Phone 8 UI. Right from the lock screen, as you can see we have the Windows Phone 8 lock screen. There you go. Even the status bar, the tiles as you can see, and even the live tiles is working fine. Here as you can see for the gallery, and if any of your tile is not working, you need to bind the application. For dialer, you can go ahead and select the default dialer. Now launching the dialer, there you go. Once you are on your home screen, swiping to the left will take you to the app drawer. So you'll have all your applications installed on your phone. You even can edit the tiles, any tiles you want, tap and hold. And you have additional options, you can unpin it, you can uh, edit it, so you can give the tile name, icon position, the tile size, bind the application, tile color and so on. So you can customize this tile and you can just move your tiles up and down like this. You also can customize this launcher. You can either swipe it to the right from here and you can access all the settings or hit the menu button. Now from here you can change the wallpapers, you can go on to system settings, you can go on to more about this launcher and you also can go on to themes from where you need to from where you can customize this launcher like the tile color let's choose red tile alpha tile padding online theme you can download various themes from online background color okay there you see system wallpaper tile size status bar you can customize the status bar whether you want to use the stock as in the default android status bar or the windows phone 8 status bar launcher animations and so on going on to lock screen you can uh, customize the lock screen you can enable status bar lock screen wallpaper font color and so on lock sound you also can enable lock sound so this is the windows phone 8 lock screen there you go so style of the lock screen you can uh, choose from various styles okay so that is really good again this is to customize the app drawer your app list so there you go, we have the white background and the red tiles. So a highly customizable Windows Phone 8 launcher. So the launcher is pretty good, very smooth, very responsive. You don't have any issues regarding this launcher and you get the whole Windows Phone 8 UI on your Android device. So that's my number two. Number three in my list is the Smart Launcher. Again, this launcher have a very minimal yet a stylist user interface as you can see here. Not a typical launcher with a dock and home screens, but instead you have this sidebar onto this side. And with the pro version, you'll also have an extra page or say an extra home screen for placing your widgets onto this side. So this is the free version, so I don't have that extra page. But anyway, moving on to the app drawer. 
you have all your apps classified into various categories like communications you have all your social medias here browser or internet games media multimedia utility softwares and these settings so a very simple app drawer here with uh, various categories and uh, this launcher is also very customizable even though this is very minimal going on to preferences so from the settings menu you can uh, customize the status bar you can either hide your status bar you can customize your screen orientation left hand mode uh, you can customize your clock and so on you also can apply various themes to this launcher so here I have the Blackberry theme so let's set it going back so there you see you have the Blackberry wallpaper and the Blackberry icons so this is the dialer just the icons are changed even the clock and the font and the sidebar as well so very attractive going back to the preferences and you also can download various themes from online you also have widget support as I've already mentioned you also have gesture support that means you can give in your own gesture to perform any action say for example for swipe up let's select what let's select Dropbox okay now go back on your home page swipe up and you launch a Dropbox so you can customize it in your own way so you can give up to four gestures with the free version and you also can give double finger gestures with the pro version you also have plugin support that is the notification count and first as default launcher you can set this launcher as a default launcher so nothing much you even can change the wallpaper of your home screen tap and hold it go on to wallpapers and you can do so and you also can lock the shortcuts and the widgets on your home screen tap and hold and lock your screen so that you don't move your icons here and there accidentally so this uh, launcher consumes very less memory and very less resources making it really fast and very responsive so that's my number three number four is the yandex cell one of the best 3d launchers so there you see all right this is the clone of the spb cell 3d launcher the ui is pretty neat as you can see very neat the dock all the icons the weather and the clock widget we have normal home screens that we have with other launchers but with some built-in widgets like the brightness slider toggles weather conditions and uh, additional details with it we also have this world clock so there you go day and night so that is really awesome calendar news flickr and many more you also can add additional widgets just pinch out and tap onto this icon and you can place additional widgets like calculator what else um, stick notes weather and uh, you also can place an extra home screen a blank home screen so that you can place additional icons to it so now we go back so here we have the sticky notes and here we have the calculator you also can do some basic customization for this launcher going on to home settings so from here under general you can change the language of this launcher you can go on to appearance to change the appearance of this launcher so say for example the dialogue theme let's select white dock theme uh, right now it's transparent let it be transparent colored program bar yes and this is the wallpaper theme okay anyway let's go back and you can uh, go for the contact pictures whether you want the round pictures or the square you also can uh, customize the program list that is the application drawer going back you have this widgets and panels uh, as I've already mentioned, you have built-in widgets, so you can uh, do the basic customizations. You have a built-in dialer with these applications as well. Let me just quickly show it to you. So there you go. Here you have your contacts, the round icons, the call log, and the keypad. So a very stylish launcher with a very neat UI and some 3D and fancy transitions like this.
So with this launcher, you can make your Android device look totally different from other Android devices. So that's my number four. So the last one for this episode is the 91 launcher, a very fancy and highly customizable Android widget, somewhat very similar to Go Launcher X. We have some built-in widgets like the weather and the clock widget, the memory management tool, the toggles, the power management, and we even have the lock screen. So this is the 91 launcher lock screen. And if you make a swipe to the right, or say the swipe to the left, you have some uh, Chinese characters here. I don't know what this is, but you have a search bar. And uh, I guess this is the QR scanner code, as in the barcode scanner or the QR scanner. But anyway, uh, if you don't know what this is, just skip it. And uh, basically you have this 91 locker, very simple. And you also can add various themes to your lock screen. So. Even having a lot of feature, this launcher consumes lesser memory compared to other launchers with the similar functionality. The ease of use with this launcher is really good. So guys, this launcher is very fast and very smooth with all these effects. No issues at all, very responsive. As I have already mentioned that this launcher is highly customizable, so let's quickly move on to the customization part. Hitting the menu button and you have all the options. You can add wallpapers, you can add various shortcuts and widgets from here like changing the wallpapers, changing the theme. So let's apply a different theme. You also can apply a lot of themes. So right now as you can see this is something different. And going on to theme, you also can download additional themes. Go on to theme manager and hit online themes and from here you will be directly taken to the 91 store from where you can download additional themes. So that is really good. You can browse from a lot of free themes and even you can uh, choose the lock screen themes. I'll come back to it in a moment. So again, from here you can choose the theme and from here you can change the transition effects. Right now we have the cylinder. Let's choose tornado and see how the icon move. There you see. very fast and very smooth. You have a lot of different effects like snake. Let's see how it moves. Oh, that is really cool. Moving on to the preferences to customize this launcher, going on to the customization tab. From here you can uh, customize your locker. So right now I'm using the default theme. You also can add various locker themes from the theme shop. You have this font settings, icon mask, uh, like the default or the 2013 new year icon mask. Icon mask is an overlay onto your icons. So here you have large icon, you can enable and disable status bar, shortcut menu gesture. Going on to desktop settings, so this is for the home screen. You can change the desktop transition effect, change the grid size. You can enable search on the home screen. You also can enable wallpaper scrolling, screen circulating. That is, if you go on to the last page of your home screen, again, if you make a swipe, you'll come to the home screen. So level background, and here you have the gesture settings. So for glide up, you can give in any action. You can launch any of your application. You can launch any of your system shortcut. Uh, that is the system application. And you have this glide down action as well. Under app list settings, this is for the application drawer. So here you have the random effects, that is each time you go into the application drawer, you have a new effect. There you go. Again, going on to preferences and app list settings. You can change the grid size and uh, you can cycle switch of app list, lock app list. So you can lock any of your applications from this launcher itself and you even can enable background transparency. So let's check out the application drawer. Now you see the background is transparent. So basically this launcher provides you with some fancy functions and fancy transitions. And even with all these features, this launcher is very fast and very smooth. So that's my number five. So that's all for this first episode, guys. I will be coming with the part two very soon. Till then you guys have a great day. Bye bye now.